Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I'm here with my February polish pickup swatch video. So the theme for the February polish pickup is 90s television, which is obviously super fun and at least relatable to me because I probably watched more TV in the 90s than I did in any decade since. And um, the makers did a really great job this month as they always do. So I have quite a few polishes, including um, polish from a brand that I have not shared with you before. They are new to the polish pickup, so that is very exciting. And for those who plan to shop the February polish pickup, it will open on Friday, February 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will close the following Monday. I will include all of the details down below in the description, including prices for the polishes and if they have any caps. If you haven't already, I would love if you follow me on Instagram. I am at Caitlin Swatches and I will include that in the description as well, but let's just get into the nail polish. Alrighty, let's start off with Paint It Pretty Polish. This one is called Wheel of Morality. And if you didn't already guess, this one is inspired by the Animaniacs cartoon, which I definitely watched when I was a kid. So this polish is described as a multi-chrome shimmer with a navy blue base and it shifts from red to orange through copper and olive. So every single month, Sherry creates a beautiful polish and I talk about how much I love it. This month is no exception. I really love navy blues and this one is like the perfect slightly dusty shade of navy blue. And the shimmer, of course, complements it perfectly. The formula is amazing. And it's just a beautiful polish. So I applied this in three coats. I do think it builds up nicely in three and would recommend wearing it that way. But go for two if you're in the mood to live dangerously. And of course, top coat will bring the shine back so you can really see all of that shimmer, which I'm going to show off, of course, as I always do. I love to show you just how shimmery these polishes are because you can't always see it in the direct lighting. So here it is in three coats plus top coat and now I'm having nostalgia for the Animaniacs show. I can hear the theme song in my head which is kind of annoying but I was a kid. What can I say? So there it is. You can see like the green shifts. You're definitely seeing the copper. Red is definitely there and orange really love this one. I think it's a really beautiful shimmer, which is no surprise. The next polish that I have for you is my indie polish pink power ranger. And this one Tanya collaborated with her son on, and he of course has no clue who power rangers are, but he thought that the glitter looked better in a darker base rather than the white one that Tanya initially created this polish in. So this is their version of pink power ranger it's a medium gray crelly with multiple different types of pink glitters as well as some tiny little blue and lime green glitters and then some fuchsia shards. So this one builds up really nicely in three coats. I think if you wanted a different look you could go with two but if you want opacity then go for three and Tanya does a really great job with her crelly so it's not too thirsty or top coat hungry so as you're going to see, it smooths out pretty much completely in just one coat of top coat. I am using a thick top coat, but it's not a glitter one. It's just a regular top coat. And this one's just a really unique and cool polish. And I always loved the pink Power Ranger. It was my favorite Power Ranger because I always love the pink and girly... Um, character basically as a kid growing up so of course i love pink power ranger and this polish is really nice too so here it is in three coats plus top coat the next polish that you can feast your eyes on is trio lacquer some kind of prison so this one is inspired by my so-called life and it's inspired by the quote Sometimes it seems like we're all living in some kind of prison and the crime is how much we hate ourselves. So that's like a punch to my gut when I hear that quote. That's resonating deeply with me right now, even though I didn't, I don't think I ever watched the show. I think my sister watched it many years later, um, but I don't think I ever actually watched it, but I feel like I've seen bits and pieces of it. So anyway, 
Amanda watched it back in the 90s when she was an angsty teenager and it resonated with her so much. She says it delivered complexity and depth that she craved and rarely found on TV. It also sparked her huge crush on Claire Danes. So this polish is described as a vampy maroon base with violet to blue aurora shimmer and red, orange, green, ultra chrome flakes. So as you can see, this is beautiful and it is really making me think of Claire Dane's hair. I know it's she had more of an orange hair color, but um, this is a very moody and angsty polish. It's so beautiful and it really applies just so nicely to the nail. So I built it up as you saw in three coats and applied top coat. The top coat I used is apparently like has the thinnest brush of all time. I use like four different top coats in this video. Um, I was running out and then I just kind of grabbed whatever I had and I have like a bajillion top coats, but it smoothed out perfectly with whatever random top coat that was. And you can just see how beautiful the shimmer is here. And then you also get the shifts of the flakes, which are kind of sparse, but in the best possible way. So I really love this one. And here we have girly bits scenes from a hat. So this one is inspired by the show Whose Line Is It Anyway? And I want to say it's Canadian, but maybe it's not Canadian. So I don't know how many people are familiar with it, but it's one of those comedies, comedies like sketch shows where people pull a word out of a hat and then they have to create like a comedy routine based on that. And... This polish is so pretty. So I love the inspiration because I remember just catching it on TV and usually not understanding what was going on because I was too young to understand the humor. But anyway, this one is described as a robin's egg blue crelly with silver metallic flakes and silver glitter. It applies amazingly. It only needs two coats. The glitter comes out so easily on your nail. No need to tip the bottle upside down none of that business. It just comes out on your nail. It applies like a dream and it smooths out really easily with just one layer of top coat. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. And I just really love the shade of, it's kind of like a Tiffany blue, I'd say. It's pretty close to that. And last but not least, we have Crisable Designs, which is not a new brand. They've been around for over a year now. It's a Canadian brand and I'm very happy to be including it in my video. So this one is inspired by Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the animated series. It's called A Teenage What? And it's described as having a navy base with blue shimmer. And then there's these really cute teeny tiny silver and blue metallic flakes, which are just super pretty in the base. So I really love the formula for this polish. It's an excellent formula. And I also really love the brush. It's just a really high quality, stiff um, paddle brush, and it works really nicely for application. So I decided to apply two coats and top coat. I think the flakes in this are exceptionally beautiful, and I'm also seeing the inspiration. So I think this is a really pretty polish, and I'm very happy that Crystable Designs is now a part of the polish makeup. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. You can see how reflective and sparkly this one is. It's really, really special and really pretty. I think that was a pretty diverse array of polishes and it was very fun for me to swatch them all for you. If I had to pick a favorite or two, I would say that the trio lacquer. I'm so happy Amanda's back. I think that polish is really beautiful. I also really like the girly bits this month. The Crelly has just an incredible formula. Pam makes the best Crellies. I barely had to like dip my brush and I was getting a ton of glitter. So please let me know in the comments which of these polishes you plan on picking up, if any, or let me know what other polishes you plan to put in your shopping cart on February 4th. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye!